Well, there's a sight for sore eyes. There's no bacon. There's plenty at the minute, Mark. Yeah, but I, I was... What, gonna... hoping someone would get it for you? No, actually, I was going to make us all breakfast. Oh, well, let's see. Phil's out. Aren't you pegs that aren't sales all week? Or do we look like the kind of people that eat fry-ups? Fair enough. I'll go to the calf, then. Oh, yeah, don't forget to get bacon, yeah? <laughs> you OK? Yeah. Could have been at the abortion clinic now. Listen, if you're having second no, thoughts... No, no, you're kidding. I've been up half the night making plans. <laughs> Names. I'm going to need to get a book. And I decided this morning I'm going to open a bank account just for the baby. What? Yeah, what do you think of all the money I'm going to save by not drinking? I swear to you, no more nights out on the lash. I will do whatever anyone in a white coat tells me to do. Look, I know this wasn't planned or anything, but well, this could be the best thing that's ever happened to me. Mm. Which is why I want to share it with you. Of course. We share everything, don't we? You can't just do nothing. Why? Because tomorrow's your birthday, that's why. How about I turn another year older and you and everyone else just forgets about it? Libby, Libby. Oh, come on, we can't fall out over something as stupid as this. As what? The fact that I don't have a staple for a belly button. No, that magazine. Oh, it was art. No, it was mine, but all blokes read stuff like that. It weren't a reflection on you. No, Darren, it was a reflection on you. Oh, come on, Liv. What do you mean you can't do it? Well, I've got a crowd of people coming in tonight. You know that. Oh, I've been stood up, have we? Come on, I'll, uh, I'll give you a hand. No, it's okay. I'll come with okay. Annie. Look, it's all right. I can manage. <laughs> Look, yeah, I have just... Oh, sorry. Lauren's school disco next week. I swear she's practising her moves when no-one's watching. <laughs> what happened to this? Batteries. Yeah, can you believe I was lecturing Dot last week on basic survival as a singleton? <laughs> Never could take my own advice. You coping? Yeah, of course I am. What about you? How's life after Ronnie? Well, she's been down at the club a few times. Check the takings, make sure her investment's safe. That's not what I meant. Well, all that's in the past. The only thing between me and Ronnie now is a balance sheet. <laughs> So she ain't gonna be best pleased that I'm short of a DJ tonight. It's baseline club night. I've been trying to find somebody else, but we're now nine hours and counting. Well, what about Roxy? She's into all that, isn't she? I'm sure she'd do you a favour if you asked nicely. Oh, and Ronnie aren't joined at the hip, are they? Like you said, it's strictly business. What's stopping you? Nothing, I guess, no. Sorry, he's still teething. Look, I've got to go anyway. Thanks for the coffee. Anytime. Jack. Thanks for popping by. <laughs> you ever seen a film called The Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Yeah, where the aliens come down and take over people's bodies. Yeah, that's the one. Where they look the same, but they're not. So, Minty. He didn't succumb to your Dita Von T's routine. I got interrupted by Gary. I want him to get a look in now he's back. I don't get it, Shell. That's your problem. No, I mean, I love Millie to bits, but they'd only ever see me as a mate. Whereas you, you got on tap with Vinny when he's never exactly been your Mr. Right. I've never let him. Well, now you're trying, maybe you'll feel something in time. I already am. Face ache. Look, she's doing it again. Do you think that spell in the nick could have done something to her? I don't know. Ask Heather for me, will you? All right, darling. I right, one when you're ready, Shell. Roxy about? Yeah. Lounging about upstairs. Lazy May has been there all day. <laughs> 